As the 2024 crypto bull market heats up, the opportunity for blockchain developers is insane. And one of the best things about this industry is that there's so many different ways to make money with these skills. Sure, you can get a regular job, but there's so many other things you can do as a blockchain developer. Some of them active income, some of them passive income. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about seven different ways to make money as a blockchain developer that work right now in 2024. I'm gonna explain all these as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the insane opportunity happening in the industry right now, especially as this crypto bull market heats up, I can show you how to become a blockchain developer and increase your income step by step over at dappuniversity.com forward slash boot. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about seven different ways to make money as a blockchain developer in 2024. So way number one is pretty obvious, but it's to get a blockchain developer job. Blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech with a national average salary of about $150,000 per year. And you can see there's lots of other developers making well beyond that into the multi six figure range. And I'll talk about some ways to increase your income that way in a minute. But one of the most common questions I get all the time is like, hey, what does a blockchain developer do? Well, there's different types of things that you can do in order to command a salary like this. Like there's different specialties inside the blockchain developer niche. So one obviously is a smart contract developer. This is where you're creating smart contracts with the Solidity programming language for the Ethereum blockchain, maybe even some Rust smart contracts for Solana and other blockchains. You can also just become a front end blockchain developer where all you have to really know is JavaScript, but you're working with the blockchain directly. You can also become a full stack developer that does a mixture of both. And another specialty that I see in pretty high demand inside the industry is a DevOps engineer and also an infrastructure engineer that helps run blockchain infrastructure for different projects. Now, all these different specialties can help you command a high salary, but if you want to see one of the most lucrative specialties for blockchain developers, that's going to bring me to my next way to make money. All right, so the next way to make money as a blockchain developer is to become a smart contract security auditor. So what is that? Well, basically, you are the person that's checking to make sure that smart contracts don't have critical bugs inside of them before they get deployed out there in the wild and maybe even checking ones that are already deployed. Because blockchain development works like different from normal software development where you can't always just go out and push bug fixes. And, you know, the, the contracts often have a lot of money associated with them. So they have to make sure that they are bug free before they go live. And that's what a security auditor does. And for that reason, it's one of the most lucrative specialties in blockchain development. So here's why. Because, you know, if someone were to pay you for a security audit, that could cost upwards of $10,000 or more. Let's just call it $10,000 for easy math. If you got two of those in a single month, that'd be $20,000. And that already puts you into the multi six figure range in terms of blockchain developer income. Now, obviously, that's going to have a little bit of networking involved. You have to have referrals or some type of good marketing. You're more of a freelancer in this case, but it's a highly lucrative specialty. Now, even if you decide not to go down that road and you want to have the smart contract auditing added to your skill set, set to make money that way, you could even do audits on security auditing competitions like Code Arena, where they have bug bounty competitions. You can see there's lots of different prize pools in here for like $25,000, $100,000, and even some smaller ones that are just a few thousand dollars. So either way you go, whether you want to commit to this specialty to earn a high income or just do some audits on the side to boost your income, it's a way to monetize these blockchain development skills and is one of the most lucrative. All right, so the next way to make money as a blockchain developer is to create an arbitrage-based trading bot. Okay, so what is that? How does it work? Well, basically, you have all these different cryptocurrency exchanges out there on the blockchain in the form of decentralized exchanges that are powered by smart contracts, things like Uniswap, SushiSwap, all the different variants out there across multiple different blockchains, okay? And, you know, the cryptocurrencies trade on these markets, but these markets fall out of sync especially for low market cap coins where the prices are subject to wild swings based upon the trading activity, okay? And when these exchanges fall to sync, there's an arbitrage opportunity where you can buy cryptocurrency for cheaper on one exchange and sell on a different exchange for a profit. And so what you would do in this case is create smart contracts that hook into each of those exchanges and then create a bot that scans for these opportunities in the marketplace and then calls your smart contract to execute on those opportunities whenever they arise. So the prize pool for trading bots is quite big. We're talking about arbitrage. You know, last month, blockchain developers made over $3 million in total from arbitrage transactions. You know, some developers can make thousands of dollars in a single transaction, all the way down to smaller amounts of money 
uh, across smaller transactions that can quickly compound and add up over time. And one of the beauties of this particular strategy is you don't necessarily need any money that you're doing to arbitrage. You can take out flash loans where you can borrow the money to do their arbitrage and pay it back in the same transaction once you've completed it. All you need is the money for the gas fees. All right, so the next way to make money as a blockchain developer is to create a sniping bot. All right, so what is that? Well, basically, this is a bot that buys cryptocurrencies whenever they hit the blockchain, basically as soon as they go live, okay? So we have new cryptocurrencies launching every single minute across different blockchains like Solana, Ethereum, Base, et cetera, et cetera. And some of them have the potential to absolutely blow up. Like WIF, for example, if you bought 100 bucks worth of WIF back in December, you'd have you know millions of dollars now. But even more... If you had bought even just a few dollars of WIF in the first block that it traded, I don't even want to do the math on how much that would be worth now. You can just see that some of the top traders on here, you know, invested very small amounts of money early on and made, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in profit. And like I was saying before, we have new coins, you know, especially during this meme coin season, hitting the blockchain every few minutes, maybe even every few seconds across different chains. And the whole strategy here is actually creating a bot that's better even than the Telegram bots out there that can find the these things as soon as they start trading and within a matter of a block or two after the pool is created can snipe a small amount or even a large amount of the supply and ride up to much higher valuations. So there's a lot to go into that, but I've got a video on my channel that'll explain this entire process. Go check that out if you want to learn more. All right, so the next way to make money as a blockchain developer is with leveraged yield farming, okay? And this is a technique where you can actually make complete passive income in, in a way that other people can't, okay? So I've made a couple of videos about this on my channel, but I'll give you an overview of how that works. So basically, if you look at an application like this, this is Moonwell. This is a savings and lending app. And see, so you can see that you can uh, you can make money off of depositing USDC, a stable coin in this protocol, and earn uh, some type of percentage yield here. All right. So what you can do, as he's 11.7% APY. So what you can do, any normal person can do that. But as a developer, what you can do is you can deposit cryptocurrency into it and then turn around and borrow cryptocurrency from the other side and increase the amount of APY that you get. Now, that's the first step. But then what you can also do is you can use the power of flash loans to borrow money to increase the amount of money that you're depositing in the protocol, then turn around and borrow that money, pay back the flash loan. And so instead of like putting, you know, $100 in the application, you could put three, 400, maybe even more into the application, earn a much higher APY than you could have if you were just a normal user of this. And that's the beauty of this is a truly set it and forget it passive income strategy that will give you an edge as a blockchain developer to make more money this way than somebody else could. And I just described one strategy and how you can do this. You can, of course, continue to withdraw and compound those profits to earn a much higher reward. Basically, you could look at any of the APYs on here and you can nearly 10x a lot of them. And you can get really creative with your strategies because there's, you know, lots of different markets and lots of different tokens you could do this with. All right. So the next way to make money as a blockchain developer is with liquidations. All right. So what is that and how does it work? Well, like I was talking about a minute ago, there's all these different savings and lending applications on the blockchain or different trading applications where users are locking up capital and they're taking out loans on the other side. Now, whenever they end up you know, borrowing too much money for, for whatever reason, if their balance goes down, they, they can get to a point where their loan's delinquent, all right? And the protocol can say, hey, your loan is delinquent, your position's delinquent, and we are gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let you be liquidated, okay? And so because they're decentralized, anyone can process that liquidation, including, you know, blockchain developers. Because you have open access to this financial system, you have open access to the smart contracts, and what you can do is you can create a bot that, you know, processes that liquidation for the protocol, and you can get a fee for doing that. And what's great about this as well is you can take out flash loans to process those liquidations. You don't actually have to have the money to recoup the funds for the protocol. Now, this is one of my least favorite ways to do it. I don't think it's unethical or anything like that. Uh, the reason I don't like it as much is because someone on the other side of the screen does have to lose money in this case, but hopefully that person knew the risk they were taking. I mean, I think most people who are sophisticated enough to do this type of thing know the type of risk they're doing, but it's not a strategy that I, you know, do very often, mostly for that reason. But it's not, in my view, unethical. I will talk about some unethical ways that you should steer clear up at the end of this video, but that is another way to make money. All right, so the last way to make money as a blockchain developer is to create an app or some type of blockchain business. Now, I put this at the end of the video because this is going to be for the most ambitious of you watching this. 
However, it is by far the most lucrative strategy for blockchain developers if that's what you want to do. Uh, for example, I'm just pulling up the revenue for Unibot. Okay, this is a Telegram trading bot. Uh, you can see that, you know, they've made $2 million in trading volume in the last 24 hours. Obviously, they're capturing a lot of those in fees. All right. Uh, the total lifetime fees they've collected is almost 13,000 Ether. So I'll let you just multiply that times the ETH price to see how much that is over the lifetime of creating this application. So this can be insanely lucrative. And this is just a bot that runs inside of Telegram. And there's many competitors to applications just like this out there. So it's not like, you know, the pie is really big for something like this is what I'm trying to say. So that's just one example of a highly lucrative blockchain app. If you have a great app idea and you've got the ambition and you're ready to go out there as a blockchain developer and make this come to life, then obviously it's a great way to make money and you can take a pretty big slice of the pie. All right, so one final bonus way that I want to talk about, this is actually way number eight, but I don't include it on the list because it's not one that I recommend that you do. I mentioned this a minute ago and that's with front running and sandwiching. Okay, so we have lots of people running MEV bots. MEV doesn't just mean sandwiching. It doesn't mean that. There's I, I've got lots of videos on my channel to explain that. But basically this is people who are front running transactions to manipulate prices on DEXs and take advantage of people who are trading who don't know any better, all right? So this is definitely unethical. Uh, you would probably go to jail if you did this enough and people found out about it. So I know sometimes this might cross people's mind, but I highly recommend you steer clear of this strategy. All right, so that's seven different ways to make money as a blockchain developer that works right now in 2024. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Which way excites you most? All right. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And if you want to take action on exactly what I'm talking about in this video today and get these high value blockchain skills, especially right now as this crypto bull market's heating up and developer man goes through the roof, then I can show you how to become a blockchain master and increase your income step by step from start to finish over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.